My name is Chris Granger. I'm the laboratory manager for a crop breeding and genetics program here at the University of Guelph, and I've been working here for 12 years. So an average day in my profession involves conducting a lot of uh, research projects within uh, plant breeding uh, programs. So specifically, I work closely in the soybean breeding program here in the Department of Plant Agriculture. Um, a typical day would involve um, using DNA technologies to help us better understand what genes are important when developing new soybean varieties uh, for Ontario farmers. And we spend uh, a, a great amount of time in our research projects um, collecting field samples, so let's say soybean leaves uh, or seed, and we uh, extract the DNA from those samples, and then we use different technologies then to understand and identify the genes important for different uh, traits. So something like yield, obviously, but then also if we're looking to uh, increase something like the oil content of a soybean for different types of applications, then we want to understand the genetics and the, the DNA uh, makeup that uh, goes into developing these, these varieties. So um, a typical day involves um, understanding or trying to do different research projects using DNA technologies to help um, breeders and, uh, and other geneticists um, develop new soybean varieties. So originally I went to Guelph for a molecular biology and genetics program and one thing that became apparent early on is that uh, a really great field to apply this degree in is agriculture, uh, specifically on the uh, genetics and breeding side, whether it's plants or animals. And I would say that's how I got interested in this field, is through how do I apply uh, what I'm interested in genetics in an applied setting. Someone that is uh, fairly independent, um, likes to be a problem solver, um, has a pretty open mind about uh, challenges and obstacles, and uh, willing to work with, again, a lot of people, a lot of variety of people, and um, really wants to be inquisitive and try to find the answer because overwhelmingly, most of the time, the answer isn't in a textbook or on the paper. Um, you need to try to find it for yourself. Uh, yes, I think it's a very positive uh, field to be in. Um, in our field, anyways, with uh, genetics and especially DNA technologies, there's been rapid development uh, over the years. So um, we're just sort of in a new uh, era of what these technologies allow researchers uh, and companies to do in terms of uh, developing different types of products in terms of new varieties of crops or uh, specialty uh, traits within these crops. So I think that uh, the future going forward with all the new technologies there's going to be many many uh, exciting career opportunities in the field. What I would give uh, as a recommendation for anyone that's interested in, in entering this field would be uh, just keep an open mind. Um, it might not always be the thing that you're looking to do right away. Um, it might be you take a stepping stone in some area and it ultimately leads to something that you want to do or you might find that what you originally wanted to do, you might change your mind. So I would just say have a, an open mind and be flexible in, uh, in what you want to do with your career. Well, with, I, I think with, with climate change occurring, um, the idea of how we produce food um, with a changing environment is going to be a critical question uh, for the next 20 years. Um, we're already seeing it in, in our sector where we're growing different types of crops where we actually have never grown those crops before um, as, as different environments open up different possibilities. So I think a combination of both um, the breeding, plant breeding sector combined with environmental changes will be a very interesting field uh, going forward.